Stay and faithful according to Ephesians 1 and 1. I am God's child according to John 1 and 12. I have been justified according to Romans 5 and 1. I am Christ's friend according to John 15 and 15. I belong to God according to 1 Corinthians 6 and 20. I am a member of Christ's body according to 1 Corinthians 12 27. I am assured all things work together for good according to Romans 8 and 28. I have been established, anointed, and sealed by God according to 2 Corinthians 1 21 through 22. I am confident that God will perfect the work he has begun in me according to Philippians 1 and 6. I am a citizen of heaven according to Philippians 3.20. I am hidden with Christ and God according to the Colossians 3 and 3. I have not been given the spirit of fear but of power, love, and self-discipline according to 2 Timothy 1 and 17. I am born of God and the evil one cannot touch me according to 1 John 5 and 18. I am blessed in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing according to Ephesians 1 and 3. I am chosen before the creation of the world according to Ephesians 1, 4 and 11. I am holy and blameless according to Ephesians 1 and 4. I am adopted as his child according to Ephesians 1 and 5. I am given God's glorious grace lavishly and without restriction according to Ephesians 1 and 5 and 8. I am in him according to Ephesians 1 and 7 and 1 Corinthians 1 and 30. I have redemption according to Ephesians 1 and 8. I am forgiven according to Ephesians 1 and 8 and Colossians 1 and 14. I have purpose according to Ephesians 1 and 9 and 3 and 11. I have hope according to Ephesians 1 and 12. I am included. I am sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit according to Ephesians 1 and 13. I am a saint according to Ephesians 1 and 18. I am salt and light of the earth according to Matthew 5, 13 through 14. I have been chosen and God desires me to bear fruit according to John 15 and 5, 1 and 5. I am a personal witness of Jesus Christ according to Acts 1 and 8. I am God's co-worker according to 2 Corinthians 6 and 1. I am a minister of reconciliation according to 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 20. I am alive with Christ according to Ephesians 2 and 5. I am raised up with Christ. I am seated with Christ in heavenly realms according to Ephesians 2 and 6 and Colossians 2 and 12. I have been shown the incorporeal riches of God's grace according to Ephesians 2 and 7. God has expressed his kindness to me according to Ephesians 2 and 7. I am God's workmanship according to Ephesians 2 and 10. I have been brought near to God through Christ's blood according to Ephesians 2 and 13. I have peace according to Ephesians 2 and 14. I have access to the Father according to Ephesians 2 and 18. I am a member of of God's household according to Ephesians 2 and 19. I am secure according to Ephesians 2 and 20. I am a holy temple according to Ephesians 2 and 21 and 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. I am a dwelling for the Holy Spirit. I share in the promise of Christ Jesus. God's power works through me. I can approach God with freedom and confidence. I know there is a purpose for my sufferings. I can grasp whole wide, long, high, and deep Christ's love is. I am completed by God 
I can bring glory to God. I have been called. I can be humble, gentle, patient, and lovingly tolerant of others. I can mature spiritually. I can be certain of God's truths in the lifestyle which he has called me to. I can be certain of God's truths. I can have a new attitude and a new lifestyle. I can be kind and compassionate to others. I can forgive others. I am a light to others and can exhibit goodness, righteousness, and truth. I can understand what God's will is. I can give thanks for everything. I don't have to always have my own agenda. I can honor God through marriage. I can parent my children with composure. I can be strong. I have God's power. I can stand firm in a day of evil. I am dead to sin. I'm not alone. I am growing. I am his disciple. I am prayed for by Jesus Christ. I am united with other believers. I am not in want. I possess the mind of Christ. I am promised eternal life. I am promised a full life. I am victorious. My heart and mind is protected with God's peace. I am blameless. I am set free. I am crucified with Christ. I am a light in the world. I am more than a conqueror. I am the righteousness of God. I am safe. I am part of God's kingdom. I am healed from sin. I am no longer condemned. I am not helpless. I am overcoming. I am persevering. I am protected. I am born again. I am a new creation. I am delivered. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. I am qualified to share in his inheritance and I am victorious.